Welcome aboard Hoppy Trails, our Ranger Tug 31. We hope you'll join us as we explore Lake Superior from the Apostle Islands to Isle Royal and back again with a few stops along the way. We have a lot planned for our three weeks on the Big Lake, but first, we've got some work to do. A lot of the best things in life don't happen quickly. Whether you're cooking an amazing dinner, saving for a special occasion, or planning a big trip, you gotta put in the time. They say that for every hour you spend enjoying your boat, you spend another hour working on it. And since dinner won't be ready for a while yet, it's time to pack up our tools and put in some hours. tug ready for the road is a bit of a project. All our gear needs to be packed away, the water tank drained, the dinghy stowed, there's lots to do. To keep the boat at a trailerable height of 13 and a half feet, most of the equipment on the roof can be folded down or disassembled. which means we need oversized permits for every state we plan to travel through. But just to make sure we're not too heavy, it's a good idea to hit the truck scale before we go. With everything in good shape, it's time to head home because tomorrow we're going to the lake. Our route takes us 230 miles to the city of Duluth and onward to Washburn, Wisconsin. We picked the Washburn Marina because of its large boat ramp and plenty of parking so we can leave the truck and trailer while we're on the lake. made it. We just have to take off the straps, put the plug in, put a few uh, fenders out, and then we're good to go.
it's 9.40 a.m. Got a little bit of a late start today because we are sore and tired from the last couple days of packing. But uh, we're fed, and the plan today is to put the boat back together and get it ready for the water. It looks like a bit of a foggy morning out there today, but it's supposed to clear up some. And it's supposed to be light seas for the next few days, so we're going to get this thing ready to go. And hopefully it won't take more than a couple hours before we hit the water. After battling waves that were just a bit larger than we expected, we decided to drop the anchor for lunch just outside the marina at Magellan Island. Poppy Trails lives on the muddy Mississippi River, so you can imagine our amazement when we woke up and found ourselves on the clearest water we've been on so far. Stockton Island is one of the more popular in the Apostles. There are three bays that make for good anchoring, as well as a protected dock, but good luck getting in on the weekend because it fills up quickly. A number of campsites on the island as well. The sites we saw were kind of unique because you set your tent up on the boardwalk and use the provided anchors to tie your tent down. After getting a few helpful tips, we were on our way. Next two days are looking like it's going to pick up again, about one to two foot waves, uh, 10 to 15 knots out of the northeast. So we're going to try to get as much sightseeing in today as we can. And we're going to try to make our way all the way up to Devil Island to see the caves if we can, since it's nice and smooth. And then we'll find some cover for the night. Uh, that should protect us from northeast winds. We'll figure out uh, what that's going to be when we see it. You got anything you want to say, Willow? Yeah. Give a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the vicinity of Bayfield. All mariners are requested to check their radios.
plan up to this point had been to spend the first week or so exploring the Apostle Islands. We would then find a good weather window and make our way up to Isle Royal. But as we rounded the tip of Devil's Island and looked out of the lake, another idea began to form. Oh, change of plans. We're here at uh, Devil's Island and uh, the water is so calm that we're going to go ahead and cross the Grand Ray now. But we figure it's better to do Isle Royal first and then we'll come back and check out the rest of the Apostle Islands later. This building is awesome. There's a slight chance of thunderstorms, but I don't see anything that looks worrisome at all. So uh, it was pretty much a perfect day for doing this. We're going to take advantage of it while we can. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side.